From Maui Films comes Black God, White Devil from 1964, a Brazilian film that was very um, harsh, difficult to kind of understand the machinations because I don't know the political climate of the time. Uh, but one movie that had a big, big impact on me, it feels very much uh, experimental. It has moments of surrealism and it's one of those ones where uh, the religious iconography is very much present, but it feels like a very anti-religious movie at the same time. We kind of follow our main character of Manuel, a, a man who is just eking by an existence, who is just struggling to put food on the table with him and his wife, a small couple of bits of cattle, and at the start of this one, a rich grazier, um, a man who owns a lot of cattle, just kind of takes advantage of him. And it's that kind of rich subjugating the poor that is the kind of catalyst and one of the stronger aspects of the film going through how people in power and strength are constantly just taking advantage of the little people, pushing them, prodding them, um, or doing much worse in certain moments. <laughs> reaches his breaking point and snaps and kills the man who is, in all fairness, attacking him. But of course that doesn't matter because the difference in stature of these two people forces Manuel and his wife to go on the run. And from there on, we kind of saw see this man go through the barren lands of Brazil, struggling to make connections, tackling uh, various groups of people and joining on with some uh, people that he maybe shouldn't have finding a kind of core uh, a purpose to kind of rally behind what of it is religious in this one he meets up with Saint Sebastião who kind of pushes him along the way kind of indoctrinating him into this religious uh, rhetoric that he has uh, and making him push away his wife go further into um, this religious aspect and do these arduous tasks. There is one moment where, I feel it's the kind of testing moment where a lot of people are just like, no, are you going to continue with it? Where he literally forces this guy to like push a rock up a hill, carry the rock up the hill. I kind of like it because it alludes to the, the, the Sisyphus story um, and it also kind of just stays on it for a long time while just watching someone struggle with something that's so unimportant. The little people are forced to do things that really don't matter or benefit anyone uh, or benefit them at all, but people just stand over them, watching them, berating them, making them do these things. It's the sequence in the film where I kind of started to see the thematics eking in of various things, but quite easily I could see people just going, no. No, not for this one. But I, I did like that kind of moment where it just had that feeling of, of leaning towards the Sisyphus uh, tale, which I liked that fair bit. This 4K restoration is absolutely stunning. It looks amazing and this black and white film just really pops with these kind of stark images and it's sent out in the wilderness. We have limited kind of characters um, they don't feel polished actors either. There's a kind of ruggedness to the performances in this one that don't feel wholly correct for the film, but they, at the same time they're rather fitting. It's a dour film focusing on a kind of horrific subject matter and it feels as if there's very little hope within the film itself. It's all about subjugation in one form of another and the endless cycle of that that's going to continue. It leaves you just not having much more than that. Although the film does take different aspects and we get a kind of mercenary thrown into this one, again, uh, facilitated by the power sources, in this case the church, to take out other people. It, it, it does have moments where it kind of ekes into the story, which is fun. The larger thematic is there and it's present and the film looks tremendous. Sebastião prejudica as fazendas. Prejudica a igreja. E o governo nunca que se interessa. Eu sempre disse que aqui só existem duas leis. A lei do governo 
the Aleda Valley. As something that I would never have experienced otherwise, I really appreciate getting this film and checking it out. It may not have been something that I would have initially checked out, but sitting down watching it, I found things to appreciate in it. It made me think, made me feel, made me want to uh, connect with the main character uh, if I only knew more about the situation. But I do get enough of it from the character, from the other um, supporting characters throughout this, that I can empathise with what's going on. Let's dive into the extras on this disc and have a little look at them. Here we are in the disc for Black God, White Devil. Let's go to the special features. First up we have an audio commentary by Lino Mierles. Next we have a visual essay, Intimacy and Distance, the political visual style of Black God and White Devil, which runs at 13 minutes 39 seconds. Talking about the visual style of the film, uh, tracking the story of Manuel through his tribulations and trials, and the use of long shots and close-ups uh, to kind of show the impact of emotional scenes or the powerlessness of certain characters. Next up we have Labyrinth Glauber, the Brazilian film, which is a documentary that runs 1 hour 37 minutes, um, and it's uh, all about the Cinema Novo movement, all about Glauber Rocha, one of the most important names in the Cinema Novo movement, and it kind of charts his career and what he was trying to do. It's very interesting, especially if this is the first kind of dipping her toe into this era of Brazilian films, there's lots of information which expands on the subject matter. To kind of work with that previous documentary is another one called Cinema Novo, which is 1 hour 32 minutes, and it kind of focuses on this most important cinema movement in Latin film. It's done very lyrically and poetically, and the images it captures, while still giving a lot of information, it has a definite style, and it's, it's kind of mesmerising as well. There is a 20 page booklet included with this release along with various essays and articles just talking about um, the cinema, the social political element that's included in here and uh, talking about the director and talking about the, the cinematic movement at the time. And that's the extras for Black God, White Devil. There we have it. Black God, White Devil is out now. It is not for everyone, but if it's something that interests you, I think you're going to enjoy this one. There's lots of um, interesting facets to it. It's nice to see another uh, film from Brazil that shows me a different aspect from the last one that I saw, which was a more genre-specific film. Uh, definitely something that was intriguing. Made me think a little bit. Left me kind of pondering some of the images uh, a few days after checking it out which is always a good thing. If you've seen Black God, White Devil, let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, find it just interesting enough, a curiosity, average. I want to know your opinion. As always, there is more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. In the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.